Welcome to Ironwood Grill. I'm Gordon Mabry, Executive Chef here at the PGA National Resort, and today I'm going to show you how to make a salad of roots and fruits. Here are the ingredients that you need. For the roasted beets, you will need large red beets, large golden beets, and some salt and pepper. For the celeriac puree, you will need celeriac, potato, heavy cream, vanilla bean, salt and pepper. For the pears, you will need pears, sugar, one cinnamon stick, pink peppercorns, star anise, black peppercorns, lemon. And finally, you will need pecans, apple, arugula, frisé, olive oil, white balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. Let's get started. We're gonna take the celery root, and we're gonna peel that down. And then we're just gonna dice this up. And then we're going to take the potato. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna peel down the potato. You can use a knife or you can use a peeler, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And the same thing, we're just gonna cut it similar size to the celery root. We're gonna take our vanilla bean. We're just gonna split that. And then we're gonna put all those ingredients into the pot salt and pepper, and then the heavy cream. And this we're gonna put on high heat, we're gonna bring it up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. And next we're gonna roast the beets. We're gonna take some foil, put it into the bottom of a pan. We're gonna just take our beets and put them in here, season them up with some salt and pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of water, just helps to create some steam in there, and then we're gonna wrap the whole pan with the foil. And then we're gonna get this, we're gonna put it into a 400 degree oven. It'll be roast off for about an hour. After an hour, we take them out of the oven. This is what they look like. We'll let these cool off and then they're ready to peel and dice. Do the same with the golden beets. We'll come back to those later on when we assemble the dish. And now I'm gonna show you how to poach the pears. Into the pot, we're gonna put the cinnamon. We're going to put the peppercorns and the anise. We're going to put in the lemon, put the sugar in and the water, and then we're just going to bring that up to the boil. So once that syrup comes up to a boil and simmers for a few minutes, we're just going to drop the pears right in. And then we're just going to cover that with a little uh, parchment paper. We'll turn that down to a simmer and we'll let that cook away for about 20 minutes. So now we're just checking on the celery root and potatoes. It's been cooking for about 25 minutes and it's ready to blend. Make sure that we remove the vanilla bean and then we're just going to add in the potatoes and the celery root and the cream into the blender. And then we're just going to blend that till it's a very nice puree. And so then we have the nice vanilla scented celery root and potato puree. And so now we come back to the pears. They've been poaching for about 20 minutes. And then we've let them cool down and now they're ready to cut. And that's the pears ready. Here at Ironwood, we use a melon baller to use on the apple. You can leave the skin on or you can peel. Now we're ready to assemble the dish. First, we're gonna take the celery root puree and just spread it out nice and smoothly onto the plate. Next, we're gonna take our beets, little salt and pepper, drop of the vinegar, and some of the olive oil. And now we're just gonna to toss, and then we're just gonna arrange right on top of the puree. And then next, take some of our apples, take some of our arugula, some of our frisé, some of our poached pears, little salt and pepper, little bit of vinegar, and some olive oil. And then we're just gonna dress this whole salad here. And then we're just gonna arrange. And then we're just gonna finish off with some of the pecans. And we'll just break these up. And so from the roasted beets, we have a little, nice little dressing here that we're just gonna drizzle around for some color. So there you have it, the finished dish, fruits and roots. You can make this at home or you can come to Ironwood and I'll make it for you.